Hello BSS, this is Hennessy's from the Hennessy's Way. Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about how to apply your hair products. So when it comes to natural hair, product application is key. And if experience has told me anything is that the way that you apply the products um, is going to determine how that product is going to work on your hair because you can have the most expensive amazing products if you apply it wrong it's not going to work on your hair so i just wanted to share this with you all my curl friends and kind of go through the routine of a typical wash day so it's going to be shampoo uh, conditioner deep conditioner and my cream and gel products and uh, before we go in make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video because i see you i know that you're watching and that you're liking the videos but you're not subscribing and you should because we're having fun here so let's start with shampoo so as we know shampoo is to clean your hair uh, so why would you put it all upon you know all around your hair and let's, don't be shy like i used to do the same i, I i'm not judging but there's a way that you actually apply that product. It is that you take a little bit of it and you apply it to your scalp, which is where it needs to be clean. Because your scalp is where, you know, your hair grows, it with, uh, it's where the build up builds up <laughs> of products. So that's where you should put be putting your shampoo. Now, when you have curly hair, when you have really tight curls, or you're someone like me that gets really a bunch of knots, um, I take a shampoo brush and I use that to distribute it, my shampoo throughout the hair and helps me clean and honestly starting to using that that it costs less than seven dollars really really helped me in cleaning my hair and at the same time I use less products because I'm distributing more evenly and correctly throughout my hair. That's how you also should do like your mask for the scalp and everything. Just put it out there in your scalp, you know, kind of massage it. Um, you can either do with a shampoo brush or with your hair, uh, with your hands like this, like claws, and then just wash it off after like a minute or two. Um, and that way when it rinse off, it's, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna get through all of your hair. So you don't have to worry about putting that on the rest of your hair. Next up, we have the conditioner and kind of slash tip conditioner because I apply these two products the same way. And basically you start at the ends because the, your ends are the part of the hair that needs the most moisture. It's the oldest part of your hair, so it needs that extra moisture and that extra just a richness on your hair. If your hair kind of like is looking at me right now, for example, where this, I washed my hair today. I did everything that I'm telling you guys, and this is kind of dry. That means that you need a cut. That means that I, right now I need a cut throughout my hair. But let's show you an example of a really good, you know, kind of curl over here that got really good moisture. That is because I applied the conditioner that way. Why you shouldn't apply your conditioner to the scalp is because it weights down your hair and you just keep it looking flat while the rest of your hair looks puffy. Now, if that's like the little look that you're going for, be my guest. But you already shampoo and you already cleaned your scalp. So really putting something on it, if it's a conditioner or worse, a deep conditioner that is has like more richness, um, it's just gonna build up on your hair and it's just not gonna last. So after applying your conditioner, I usually leave it for like a minute or two. So it kind of just help me with tangling and you can either use a brush you can use a your hands or a comb. That also helps in distributing again your the product through all the hair strands, so nothing gets left left behind. Then next we go to like the styling products, and I personally use a cream and a gel. Um, and what it really took my styling products to the next level, or like my wash days to the next level. I also do this with the deep conditioner is that I divide my hair in fours so I can apply the product piece, pieces by pieces. This is going to really depend on how you want your hair to look. Me personally, I like my hair to be, 
you know, really moisturized and everything. But I do like it to be like kind of puffy and like go up. Um, if you're someone that likes to be very defined, and I don't mind freeze, me personally. But if you like, if you're someone that you don't want freeze and you want it very defined, there's other methods that you use for that. Um, but for me, I divide it in four and basically I go, I apply how I apply the conditioner and I go through here first with the cream. I, you know, stall in the, in the ends, on the ends and the gel as well. After I'm done, I take a little more of the gel and I slightly go a little bit near the root so it doesn't necessarily like puffs out you know what i mean like i want the freeze but like let's not get crazy over here because so we want this to last um after i apply the product me personally the way that i do it i do the raking so basically and i know it's not gonna be the same effect because my hair is like drying is that i apply the product and i do this i i pass my fingers through my hair so it can go through every hair strand there are other ways if you don't want to use your, you know, if you want to get a lot of hair on your uh, on your fingers, you can use a white tooth comb, which is really good as well, or um, a tiny little teaser. Um, really, any like a brush will really will help you do that. Another way is to do the praying hands, which is what I do at the end. I take my gel. Uh, when I'm really done with everything and I just go and do the praying hands and that's a really other good way to apply product. There's no necessarily like a mega wrong way to do it, but there are more efficient ways to do it. So that way I have a lot more product left. I'm not like and just like blasting it all out, which is what I used to do. And my wash days last me for a whole week, um, sometimes for five days. And it's just really beneficial that way. The last thing that I would like to talk about how to apply it is the refreshers. The refreshers are very, it depends on what kind of refresher you use. So if you use a leave-in, usually leave-ins are sprays. So you just apply it in the areas that you need the most moisture. Um, I use a refresher that is very creamy. I use the Reese's Curls one. So I apply it on my hand and then apply it on the hair. Why I don't apply it directly to the hair? Because I don't want my hair to be uh, weighed down. And also I don't want a, a lot of buildup on my head because when I get buildup, I get a headache. The products that you use are very important, but more important than that is that you know how to use them so you can get the most benefits from it. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any tips that I can implement, um, anything that works for you as far as applying the products. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to my channel. You should also share it to the world so the curls can run the world. Um, and you can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All the links will be down below. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.